Uh, yeah, couldn't have been, couldn't have asked for a better forecast out there. Uh, let's take a look at right now uh, the live conditions. Rio Rancho showing calm weather all across the metro. Right now, 85 degrees. Wind is three miles per hour. And as we look toward the rest of your evening, I'm anticipating that we're going to be getting into some 70s uh, right around sunset with that wind still remaining on the calm side. So if you plan on getting out there to Balloon Fiesta first thing in the morning, uh, you're probably Probably going to be going to bed pretty soon. So I'm here to alleviate your fears. It looks like it's going to be once again in the mid 50s, calm wind conditions and green flags all morning long. And now we're looking at some changes in areas other than central New Mexico, getting some rain in Ruidoso. And this is uh, one of the very few places getting some rain right now. But the good news is, is it's just sprinkle activity. So we're not looking at any sort of flooding problems. Uh, you know, historically this summer, uh, you know, Ruidoso has really been fighting those floods because of the burn scars. But right now, very sporadic in terms of rain. I mean, we have a few showers flashing on the east slopes of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. As you can see right there, that little area of rain near Ruidoso and out toward the southwest mountains. It's mostly cloud cover. Uh, we'd be incredibly fortunate if we actually got some rain on the ground in a large way out there. But here in the metro, it's fairly quiet. Just watching out for some gusty wind moving in uh, in the form of a small little uh, outflow from a thunderstorm. But, you know, looking back to Florida right now, this is a shot from Sarasota. Um, and we're having connection problems, obviously, because there is the potential that within this area of Florida, 100 mile per hour winds are moving in. So this signal, it comes and goes. It's Internet based. And we also are seeing that there are some flashes in the backgrounds from uh, possibly transformers. Uh, and, and right here, you can see that it's 59 miles per hour sustained currently in Sarasota, 66 miles per hour in St. Petersburg and up there toward Tampa, about 50 miles per hour and military is still a category three hurricane. It's going to be staying that way until landfall, it looks like, and that's going to be at any time this evening that eye wall is getting closer and closer. So what I'm anticipating is that we're going to be looking at Milton still hanging on to hurricane status even when it goes over land by about two in the morning uh, for Thursday, and it's just going to exit across the east coast of Florida. Here, what feels like a world away, uh, polar opposite, calm wind. It's going to be a little bit on the cool side uh, for our lows, but I'm anticipating that for tomorrow, dry and warm conditions will prevail. We'll see a slight chance of showers down south. All in all, it's going to be about the same. And uh, if you're living in the southeast, the only change you're seeing is that the temperatures are getting hotter. 94 degrees tomorrow for your high in Roswell, getting to the high 90s by Sunday before a cooling pattern starts to kick in by the middle of next week. Across the southwest for tomorrow, it's mostly 80s and 90s. I'm calling for mostly clear conditions across the northwest for tomorrow. 84 degrees predicted for your high and staying in the 80s into the weekend. The North Mountains, Red River, Angel Fire, you know, way up there in the uh, high elevations on the cool side, but it's getting warmer for areas like Santa Fe now in the low 80s. Expecting high 80s for areas like Tucumcari and Santa Rosa for tomorrow, 70 Sandia Park and Cedar Crest and into the metro from Belen into the South Valley. It's going to be mid 80s, a lot of sunshine, uh, but you know, I got to say each morning it is going to be comfortably cool, even reaching the upper 40s in Rio Rancho by Friday morning for Albuquerque. I'm anticipating mid 80s all the way into the weekend with calm weather.